guys, welcome to a new episode with Conflicts. I'm happy to say that I do finally have my studio set up, which is freaking awesome! Anyways, today we're actually going to be unboxing a 3D printer. Now this is here is from XYZ Printing and this is the Da Vinci Mini Maker. Pretty much it's for your home use for children, for teens, etc. And it's really easy to use. So let's go to open this up and take a look. All right, so right away the box is really huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut it from the top and then cut it from the sides. And then it's gonna go ahead and open that up from the top. Right away we see a lot of different things in here. So let's just go ahead and open them up and take a look. Okay, so this is everything that it comes with. So we have the 3D machine right here. We have the power cord and the power adapter. It looks like this is a chisel here, and I'm not exactly sure what this is. It could just be a leveler. Uh, then we have some other tools that it comes with, as well as a USB cord. Over here we have the filament. This is the material that the 3D machine prints on. Uh, pretty much it prints out the, uh, the object with, with using this. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side for now. And then over here it looks like the actual... The device itself that creates, uh, that prints out itself on the machine. So that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and set this up and see how this works. Okay, so the machine itself is very colorful. It looks very fun and it looks very welcoming. Uh, I think that's a very nice approach, especially for the younger children. Uh, I do think this looks really cool. It's got a very nice professional feel to it and it's very sturdy, which is very nice to know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of open this up and see how to set this. So now that we have everything unpacked, we're going to go ahead and start the installation process. Now the first step is to install the extruder module, which is actually this device right here. Uh, from what I'm seeing, it's telling us to just kind of slide it into place and then clip it in. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so it just snapped in and now it wants me to put this in here. Like so. So now that we have installed the extruder module, we're gonna go ahead and install the guide tube. And now the guide tube is actually this little piece right over here. Uh, so from what I'm thinking is it pretty much guides the plastic into the extruder module. So let's go ahead and set this up. So now that we've installed the guide tube, we have to go ahead and install the filament spool ring. Pretty much uh, this here is the material that you, uh, the 3D printer uses to print 3D objects. In order to do this, we have to go ahead and unscrew this screw here first. And then go ahead and separate the two pieces. And then you would insert the chip. Usually this is already inserted into the tube itself. However, if you're buying new filament, I think you do have to install this each time. So the piece goes in like this, and then you just go ahead and install it back into place. And we're good. Okay, now that we have installed the filament spool ring, we want to go ahead and install the filament to the device. In order to do this, we have to remove the blue cap by pressing down on the side and exposing the side cover. Uh, so from here we want to lower the filament spool holder on the left side of the printer until it's horizontal. So we're going to click push this down here and now that's horizontal. We can go ahead and place the uh, spool itself on top of this. So it will just kind of fall into place like this. And from there we take the tip of the filament which is this right here and we insert it into the hole of the feeding tube. After that, we wanna go ahead and press on the release arm, which is pushing up on this, and then push, pushing up the tube as much as possible. Okay, so that concludes the setup portion of the 3D printer. All right, now that we have the hardware all set up, let's get into the software itself. Before we do that, let's just take a quick look at their website. Now, the website itself has a lot of different files on there that you can download for free to print out. One of my favorites is this Boloid uh, robot here. Pretty much you can actually make your own armor and 
be able to uh, put that on your robot, which is really cool. And then they have different phone cases that you can make for your own self, which is really neat. But with that being said, let's get into the software. Uh, now it's called XYZ Wear, which you can download from their website. And the software itself is very simple. It's very clean. Uh, it's got just a few buttons on the top. And then it's really, uh, it's non-threatening. Let's just put it that way. Now I'm going to go ahead and click import on a file here. And then the file that I'm going to import is actually going to be the Donald Trump uh, file. So I'm going to print myself a mini Donald Trump here and see how that works. Uh, kind of curious to see. I've never printed anything before. So that's right there. There he is. Um, I can actually manipulate him and move him in different directions as well as increase or decrease his size. So we'll just kind of leave it the way it is and then I'm going to click on the auto and repair and then I'm going to go into the print uh, program right here. Uh, I'm going to actually go excellent because I haven't actually printed one before so I'm going to go ahead and print and hopefully this will be cool. Uh, so currently in the object slicing mode, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'm assuming it's kind of making it into small pieces of data, which it will send over to the printer itself and then go from there. So with that said, let's just kind of make a quick time lapse. All right, so now it's ready to print. So let's go ahead and hit print. Alright, so it looks like Donald Trump is ready. So we'll go ahead and take him off of here. Ooh, he's pretty uh pretty on there, so let's use a chisel. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so that pretty much concludes that. Now obviously you can tell there's a lot of imperfections on this. Um I did have it on the fast speed uh, because uh, I decided that I did not want to wait four hours and it actually ended up taking three hours at a faster pace. Um, I can tell right away that there is a lot of structure to this and it is not flimsy at all. I do plan on doing a test with it so hopefully we'll take a look at that. But uh, yeah, just, you guys can just take a look at the details on this. And it actually did a pretty good job but uh, other than, you know, the imperfections here, um, I think I can actually just kind of like chisel those out, but hey, it's pretty cool. Alright, so all three of these products were made with a 3D printer. Uh, the only difference between Donald Trump and the Pokeball and Pikachu is that um, these are actually painted. So you can always do that afterwards, just enough why. But it actually just gives you an idea of all the creativity that you can do with it. Literally, uh, it does require some effort in which you would have to clean off some of the bits and pieces. But then you do get a nice product here, especially if you paint it. It's definitely well worth it. But yeah, no, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Uh, in addition to that, I will be doing a part two in which we'll be doing a test on... Um, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Da Vinci Mini Maker 3D printer by XYZ Printing. If you guys have any questions or concerns, be sure to comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Again, I plan on doing part two with this and we'll actually put this model to the test. So let's take a look. <laughs> take care guys. Bye-bye.